some of the sem semper vivums. Vi is that right? Semper vivums? Semper vivum. Semper vivums. Semper vivums? Semper vivums. I'll look it up. Hey folks, Drunken Homemaker here. I'm here with a very exciting video. At least it is exciting to me. Hopefully it is exciting to someone else out there in the universe. Um, I actually was supposed to get a package in the mail tomorrow. I just got home from work a few minutes ago and I very quickly threw together my setup, but um, I put in an order from Mountain Grast. So I did open it, but I will show you um, exactly what was in it to begin with. Um, so when you open the box, um, all of these guys were right on the very top. So my order and all that good stuff and then some 10% off the next order, stuff like that. I'm gonna move this stuff to the side. Just some fun, and you know, this is my cable bill because apparently I threw it on top of there. Um, and then it comes uh, nicely packed. Um, they're, they're old pros at this, so they, they're very efficient at packing succulents. So let me see if I can change the angle a little bit. All right, so I just, um, I just moved a bunch of stuff back and forth because I can't decide what I want to do. But right now I'm just taking the packing peanuts and it comes pretty well packed. Uh, so these are compostable peanuts when you put water in them, which is, you know, it's all, it's really good for the environment. And then this is something that I would just probably throw in my worm bin and let the worms have at it. Um, so there's quite a, a bit of packing materials here and I'm going to make sure that I have my order form here so I can sort of tell you what I got. I'm so excited about this order. All right, so succulent to the first. I already see it, I'm already excited. All right, so this guy is Senecio Rolianus, Rolianus, String of Pearls. Um, I got about five of these guys, which is the limit of what you can get there. All right, there you go. That's String of Pearls. I ordered five of these guys so that I could um, put together an arrangement. So I'm super excited about that. Ooh, this is one of the taller guys I can tell already. This guy is Sedum Confusum. So I did order some soft succulents and some hardy ones. Um, I am working on a bird bath pro um, project that is the majority of the reason why I got this stuff, but I also plan on um, putting some into my landscape in the fall for you know it to come back next year and everything. So I'm super excited. This one is the Sedum Confusum, which I'm very interested to see how it will look. Um, let me show you what that looks like. So that's what this guy looks like. Looks really pretty. So if I can find the the names and everything, I'm going to I'm going to try to put them up so that you guys can see. Oh, let me make sure I put these things back so that I don't get confused some to myself. <laughs> so funny. Oh no. I might have to get one of my makeup brushes. I do have a makeup brush specifically for when I'm working with um, my succulents because I'm that person. Um, so this is a, I believe this is blue spruce. <laughs> Sedum reflexum blue spruce. Yeah, welcome. And this one is a hardy variety. I believe this one's hardy to zone four or three, but don't quote me on that. So this is a uh, blue spruce. As you can see, it's got beautiful like blue in the leaves. So it's like a beautiful bluish green. And it's just so, it's so birdy and I leave it. I love it too much. Ooh. This guy is interesting looking. Yes, this is the Yes, this is the ice plant, which is has such an interesting name. I honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I got this one based on the name because I thought it was so cool. Um and actually you do get quite a nice amount of them for um 
what you pay for it, so it's pretty cool. So that is the ice plant, or the Delosperma nubigenum. This is another string of pearls, um, which I'm not gonna zoom in for because I showed you the first one. Once you've seen one string of pearls, you've seen them all. This, these are so cute though, like they have the little smaller guys, which is really stinking cute. So actually I wanna show you these, but I'm not gonna, cause I have self-control. Another string of pearls. I might've ordered too many string of pearls, but I, I think there's probably people watching there are like, there's no such thing. Ooh. This is a type of sedum. This is sedum reflexum lime selection. So first I'm gonna show you this sedum in all its glory and then I'm gonna... So this is the uh, lime selection sedum. That's really lovely. It's really quite lovely. Um, but let me also show you the blue spruce right alongside it so you can see kind of the, the different... That's a huge difference in color as you can probably tell. Um, I'm so excited to work with these and these are both hardy. So this one's a little bit covered with dirt, so I'm just like wiping off uh, a majority of the dirt just to sort of show you guys a close-up that, and that's, you know, that's to be expected when something is traveling all the way from California. Um, I believe it's located in California. This is from Mountain Crest Gardens. By the way, hashtag not sponsored, but if they would like to sponsor me, I'd like to get stuff from them. This is... A Sempervivum calcareum. Um, so this is a, a Sempervivum, Vivum, Vibum. I already forgot. Sempervivum. It's Sempervivum. I see. I knew it was a V. I should just go with your gut sometime. Uh, this is a Sempervivum uh, cal calcareum. I think is calcareum, calcareum. So it's from Canada. No, I'm kidding. It's not. Repeat that. So a few of these on the bottom are, are a bit covered with stuff. Um, oh, this one I'm so excited about. This one is called Sempervivum Purple Haze. And holy moly, is it a beauty. It's so pretty. So this is Sempervivum Purple Haze, which I mean, just look at that color. It is, it lives up to its name. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this is Sempervivum, why is that so hard to say? This is Sempervivum Helveticum. Like the font. <laughs> Helveticum. Oh, so pretty. I just love it. So I am just taking this makeup brush and brushing off. This is my um, my e.l.f. blush brush that I use specifically for my succulents. Sempervivum Fonte, or Font. Beautiful, beautiful succulent. I'm so excited to work with these guys. And I mean, this has just got the most beautiful name and I'm hoping that the camera is showing just this beautiful color. Semper Vivum Lemon Sky. I mean, does it not have the most beautiful, perfect name for it? It's so pretty. I love it so much. It's so pretty. This aloe looks like it, it, it really did lose a lot of its soil in transit, which is, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, but how freaking gorgeous is this? This is aloe nobilis blue. I mean, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I should probably take the makeup brush out of the frame. I'm hoping that it does well. I, I, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't, but you know, I'm paranoid like that. But I, I hope it does it does well. It did lose some of its oil, but I, I have, that's easily replaceable. Sedum Little Missy. And this is one of those that you can use as a spiller. So I'm super excited about using it uh, like that because I think it'll look really, really pretty. So again, Semper Vivum. No, sedum little missy. So it's a, it is a sedum. This is a sedum. Uh, this is sedum Himalayan skies. And y'all, I die. It's so beautiful. It's just so, I, I don't know if you guys are getting how gorgeous these are. But. This is one of the rare varieties that they were having a sale on the other day. And this one is called Semper Vivum State Fair. 
and I it would right now it was covered with dirt and um, I sort of had to um, brush it off the best that I could as you can tell there's still a lot of stuff but do you see that color variation how it's purple on one side and then green on the other side I mean it's so pretty and this is one of the rare ones that I purchased the other day um, I'm so excited about this guys this haul is it's pretty sick um, so yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about how everything is looking so far, but look how gorgeous that is. It's so pretty. This is the last one, but we are finishing strong. I mean, this is another rare variety. Semper Vivum Compte de Congue. It's French. I'm probably butchering it, but look how just, I die. I mean... What a hell of a day. This is uh, this is very exciting for me. Hold on, I'm just making sure I have everything. I have all of them. Um, they're so beautiful. I just love them so much already. Um, I'm gonna do a nice little pan so you can see all of them. So I will be using these in the upcoming weeks on a project. I did buy like a, like a little cheap um, bird bath. Um, that's made from resin um, to do a project with these. And I'm hoping that I have enough. I'm like looking at them now and I'm like, ooh, are these gonna be enough? Um, but you know, I'll, I'll make it work even if they're, you know, if it's not enough. Um, and I do have a few other plants that I can throw in there uh, if need be. Um, but I'm so excited about this. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys. And um, yeah, I love the way they look already. And I'm just like, I can't wait to work with them. I'm gonna get these watered in because they did arrive today. Um, and you're supposed to sort of water them right away and do all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get these watered and I'm gonna put them under my LED lights so that they don't get leggy or anything in the like two or three days before I start working with them. Um, but I'm so excited to work with them and I'm so excited to share that video with you guys because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's so pretty and lit. I love it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to eat something because I haven't had dinner yet because I was so excited about the succulents that I ran home from work and immediately set up my camera and started shooting this. So like I haven't eaten anything and I'm starving. Um, but I will be posting a video when I do the project for the bird bath um, to show you sort of how I do things. I'm trying to like think about like how I'm going to make it work because I'm actually thinking I might have like a few, I, I think I, I might not have as many plants as I thought I did but that's okay because we're gonna make it work um, yeah I'm super excited about this project um, comment below which one was your favorite succulent I will try to have like a name for, for um, all of them remember to like comment subscribe and yeah I will see you guys very soon I do have a video coming up soon about um, I think, you know, you can't even see it, but like, I think at the beginning I, I was going to show like a corner of like one of the stuff, but I did do another, I did shoot another, uh, I don't want to episode on Tuesday. Um, this will probably go up before that. So keep your eye out for the new, I don't want to episode and keep your eye out for the succulent bird bath project that I hope I have enough succulents for. Um, but yeah, we will see. And, uh, thank you so much for watching, for spending your evening with me or your day with me. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. I will see you guys in the next one. I will see you. And then don't forget to watch all the wrestling. That's me making fun of my husband and his channel.